Hello and welcome to the Tourist Academy number 11. I am Philip and if you have any questions regarding this presentation, please use the link on Slido, which you see now on the screen. I think we can just get started. So new Sentinel view. Uh, some little things about me. I'm Philip, as I said previously. I work at Tourist Tech since August 2020, which is which is going to be two years now. I started at Forest UI backend team, which uh, cares about UI on, on your router, if you have one. And now I'm working at security team, thus I am the one who is responsible for implementing the new changes. What are Sentinel data sources? Our Sentinel system uses minipods for collecting data, which are on your router. Uh, these minipods consist of FTP minipod, SMTP minipod, Telnet minipod, and HTTP minipod. Each minipod serves as a, a service where attacker goes and use username or password which are locked also we have another system that is called has which stands for honeypot as a service this one is ssh minipot and collects also uh, passwords and usernames what is the usage for collected data Main reason we are collecting this data is in dynamic firewall, which is on the routers. Another uh, usage is for SCIRT, which is a national, national provider for security. Another use is to share the data with public. Thus, we use the Sentinel view. If you are familiar with this application, you can see that the previous Sentinel view was simple. The menu on the top is pretty bare and the design is non-responsible. Why we do such a noise about the new release? Well, there have been some main changes made. The new web is responsive. It's segmented better. Use time windows for uh, displaying data. Use sketching on backend for faster response on your end. And you can also see results of uh, the attacks for your device. So let's take a look. Here we have our beautiful browser with Sentinel view page. The overview is pretty much as it was before. Uh, nothing to add here, I, I assume. What we can try to uh, show is the responsiveness. So you are able to use this tiny menu on, on your handheld device. The other, uh, other thing I mentioned before is segmenting. Uh, where, whereas the previous Sentinel view had only like three pages, we have for each data set individual window for example there we can see incidents here are data for attackers which you might may don't know is that when you have highlighted this in blue you can get individual record for this uh, IP address. 
another thing I mentioned before, uh, which is improvement from previous version, is that you have timed windows for each action. So up until this moment, I have all the data for previous week. It might be better to see it with passwords, I, I think. So we take seven highest passwords for last hour and display it here. Now we can see the same result for 12 hours for a day, week, month, and so on. So we had seen this and let's go on. You are able to view data for your particular device. How you can access the ID that you have to provide here. You have to write this command in your console. And you get the device number, which you insert into the page here. Unfortunately, I'm, I'm not on my computer, so I can show you uh, the device, but if you have Tourist Router, Mox or Omnia, you are able to try it for yourself. Dynamic Firewall. One of the things that were mentioned in, in the in the article which followed the release was a promise to show dynamic firewall and we will get in, in a little in into what dynamic firewall does so each minipod action is locked on the router sent to our server log data for IP address of attacker ever is evaluated based on weighted conditions. We won't get it. We, we won't get into it right now. But uh, the premise is either IP address gets blocked or after time, uh, after time or no action, the IP address is removed. And here we can see real time visualization for that. Let me show you in the browser. I will click dynamic firewall. Here you can see map for each event. Here you can see update. So this means that IP address was removed from the current list. What is great about this is that this uh, happens in real time. So every time this action occurs, you can see it on the screen. I have some promises in the future and I forgot to uh, mention those in the presentation. But if you refer back to the, uh, to the article on, on our blog, you can see those. The main feature that we will be addressing is have I been pwned like service when you put your password in the browser and we will check it against our database if it has been used by attackers or not. So now is the time to wrap it all up. Uh, again, if you have any questions, Please use the service Slido and we can address those. So we have one question. Will there be some user friendly way how to get a token? I'm not sure whether I can manage to do it in console. I never used it before. Well, the console is for more advanced users. I can see uh, there is and feature 
which uh, will be added to the Sentinel view in the near future. So you can open the page on your router and you will click either button or link that will get you to the Sentinel page. This page will be opened and device will be automatically built here. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the show. If you have any further questions, uh, don't hesitate to ask either me directly or my colleagues uh, and suggest some changes that might be useful for you. Thank you very much for tuning in. Again, I'm Philip. On behalf of Tourist Tech Security Branch, uh, 